We are to find a solution to this word problem. What should be our approach? Step one: Understand the problem. Read the entire word problem thoroughly. Wherever possible, draw a diagram to visualize the problem. Stacy spent three hundred and fifty-six dollars on a dress, a blouse, and a skirt. If the dress cost thirty-five dollars more than the blouse, and the blouse cost eighteen dollars less than the skirt, how much did she pay for each item? Let us draw a diagram to help us understand the problem. What are the items involved? There were three items bought: a dress, a blouse, and a skirt. The total cost of these three items was three hundred and fifty-six dollars. The cost of the dress, when compared to the blouse, was thirty-five dollars more. The cost of the blouse. Was eighteen dollars less than the skirt. That also means that the skirt cost eighteen dollars more than the blouse. We have to find the cost of each item. Good. The problem is made much clearer now with the diagram. Let's proceed to step two. Step two: Devise a plan. Choose a suitable method based on the relationships among known and unknown quantities. The costs of the three items are compared with each other. The differences in costs are also given. So we can draw a comparison model to illustrate the relationships among the three quantities and use it to solve the problem. From our diagram, we can see clearly that the cost of the dress, when compared with the cost of the blouse, Is thirty-five dollars more. So we're going to draw a unit that is longer for the dress and a shorter one for the blouse. This unit represents the cost of the dress. Let's use D to stand for dress. Now we're going to draw a unit slightly shorter to represent the cost of the blouse. Let's use B to stand for blouse. What is the difference in cost? The difference starts from here, and the difference is. Thirty-five dollars. Now the cost of the skirt is eighteen dollars more than the cost of the blouse. That means the unit representing the cost of the skirt should be longer than the unit for the blouse. We'll draw a unit that is longer for the skirt. Let's use S to stand for skirt. And the difference in cost between the blouse and the skirt is eighteen dollars. Do we have more information to add to the model? Here we are told that she spent a total of three hundred and fifty-six dollars. We'll use a curly bracket here to represent a sum, and then indicate the sum, which is three hundred and fifty-six dollars. And what are we to find? The amount she paid for each item. In a model, we indicate the quantity we are to find with a question mark. Since we are to find the cost of three items, where should our question marks go? This is for the dress. This is for the blouse. And this is for the skirt. Now that we have devised the plan, let's proceed to the next step. Step three. Carry out the plan. Based on the plan devised, work out the solution. It is always easier to work with whole and equal units. Where are the whole units that are equal? Let's take a look at this section. We have three whole and equal units here. How do we find the value of all the three units? We can take three hundred and fifty-six dollars. To subtract all the values here, so let's do that. We write three units are equal to three hundred and fifty-six dollars minus thirty-five dollars minus eighteen dollars. This gives us three hundred and three dollars. Now, what's one unit? One unit would be three hundred and three dollars 
divided by 3. This is equal to $101. Let's place $101 in each of the equal units. Now we are ready to find the cost of each item. For the cost of the dress, it is 1 unit plus $35 more. So we write, cost of dress is equal to 1 unit plus $35. This is equal to $101 plus $35. The total cost is $136. Now for the cost of the blouse. The blouse is just 1 unit. So we write, cost of blouse is equal to $101. How about the skirt? It is 1 unit and $18 more. So we write, cost of skirt is equal to 1 unit plus $18. This is equal to $101 plus $18. And this gives us $119. Have we solved the problem? Are our answers correct? We need one last step to find out. Step 4. Check back. Verify the results by substitution. The costs of the dress and the skirt are in reference to the cost of the blouse. We have found that the cost of the blouse is $101. If that is correct, then the total cost of the three items should be $356. Let's add up the cost of all the three items. $136 plus $101 plus $119 is equal to $356. This is correct. Now let's write the statement. The dress cost $136. The blouse cost $101. The skirt cost $119. Superb! We have solved the problem.